Hey guys, I'm Ken with Paul Miro Junk Pile Guitars. If you don't know me, well then life has been good to you until right now. Hey, you see the shirt I'm wearing? It says, remember kids, electricity will kill you. Well, when I was a kid in the 60s, these signs were everywhere because they were trying to stop you from flying your kite around electrical lines. Because they knew if that didn't kill you, you were going to be one of the things that was going to be time climbing the towers where the electrical lines are, and that would get you. Well, guess what? I'm still here. But I'm here to talk to you about a problem with electricity, a real problem with electricity on something that really matters, and that's guitars. Now, if you've seen my channel, you know I like things with F holes. By the way, thank you, Lloyd Lore, for putting those on guitars. This is what I like to build big, thick body, cutaway, arch top guitars. And I like to highly modify them. There is everything on this that should never be on a guitar, but I'll tell you what it is a screamer. Now, here's the problem. When they built these guitars, they were acoustic. And so the thicker the body, the bigger the F holes, the harder you could play them, the more they amplified sound. And then somebody had the idea, well, let's put a pickup on them. And as soon as the pickups came, something called feedback started up. You know what feedback sounds like? Well, these things will just start to howl. And if you click up there right about now, the Beatles did a song called I Feel Fine. And at the beginning of that song, you're going to hear something going, and that is a, an arch top guitar feedbacking. And they did that on purpose. Again, the link is right up there. Now, Here's what artists have told me about the guitars I sent because I build heavy duty guitars. I, I build guitars out of all kinds of things. Coffee cans, license plates, cigar boxes. I even fix up those really old catalog guitars that are beat up. But when you put something like this out to a blues player that's touring, they have to be dependable and I turn to kit guitars to do that. So the feedback I get <laughs> play on words from the artists that have my guitars is these thick hollow bodies if you're in a little venue and you got a small amp and you're you're playing along they're great but when you get to a bigger venue and the, and the amps start to increase in size and the volume starts to increase these things get very sensitive you can turn things down and do whatever you do but you turn one way or another and they start getting out of control so feedback is not desired so there are two ways not one but two ways to address feedback in an arch top like this the first way I call the Troy Murrah method meet the number 12 junk pile oh my gosh look at this look at the hardware store that's holding that neck on don't ooh ah too much what does this thing sound like there's been a lot of music recorded on this and i'm going to give you an example of some of it right up there right now but what troy does to stop feedback is get some gaffer tape and cover up the f hole isn't that brilliant you don't think so well hey, okay everybody's got their own taste but I got another solution for those people who are going to be playing the guitars you're going to build. My friends at Guitar Kit World have this option for you. Look, it's got a cutaway. It's got um, F-holes. But it's going to address feedback because it's got a thinner body. You see that? So, you're going to find that if you give me a subscription and you watch for me to build this this is going to end up looking something like this and it's going to go out to an artist and it's going to address the feedback problem they're having right now with my other kit so we're going to send them out with a guitar that can go to a smaller venue oh that guitar is called the 61 junk pile there's a playlist up there on how it was built 
and you're gonna follow along and see what I do with this one and I know you will because if you've seen the before you know you're gonna have to see the after so hey let's build this together if you're thinking about getting a guitar kit to build it's well within your skill set with simple tools and you can anybody can try and build a guitar that looks like anybody else's guitar don't clone anything just get something pick your color pick the stuff you want to put on it pick the hardware these kits come with complete hardware everything you need but again, they're highly customizable. So I'm gonna give you a link down below. Tune in and watch as this one comes along. Feedback, you better get out of my way.